Yeah, this is our sign right here. We really proud of this right here because um, back when we was on the old land and um, as like confrontation was looming with uh, Philadelphia Housing Authority, we all got together and had a really important community meeting. And at this community meeting, we um, came up with these principles, you know, which is a community constitution. And the reason why we came up with these principles is that we wanted to make sure that the values and um, the protocols and the standards that, that we establish will be laid down. Because if you don't have a constitution, anybody can come and change the situation. And they can make other rules and say, okay, this is how it go. So it was important that our community, ourselves, lay down how we operate, how the North Philly Peace Park operate. And this is outlive us after we gone. Next generation will have a roadmap. So we're really proud of, 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 of this right here. And as you see, it's like some photos of like some of our history. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what it's all about right here. It's about us helping us. It's about food being given to people. It's about keeping the children in the field to learn about nature. You know what I'm saying? It's about culture. It's about, about uh, um, um, fellowship. It's about uplifting the spirits. It's about young people with tools in their hands, being able to be creative, being able to be builders. It's about seniors. It's about feeding people. It's about unity. It's all about all of that. And that's our step around here, right here. And let's check out our emblem. Now we're really proud of our emblem right here. North Philly Peace Park. Yeah. Okay, the North Philly Peace Park. Now this is really important right here. This is an Adinkra sign from West Africa right here. And as you see, man, it's a tree. It's the soil, the black soil, and you got a tree growing up out of the soil in the midst of the city. But this sign right here is an Adinkra sign from Mali, from Ghana, from Senegal, Ivory Coast, Liberia, used by our people. And the sign means, I will change my life. I will transform my reality. And that's what's growing right now from the land. A spirit of transformation. And the last thing I want to say is this, and this is a message to everybody that's listening, that's viewing this. If you want to stand up and right a wrong, nobody can stop you in doing that. Nobody can stop you, nobody has the right, nobody has the power to tell you and me that we can't get up clean up our neighborhoods. Nobody have the right, nobody has the power or the authority to tell me and tell you that we can't feed our people if our people is hungry. Nobody have the power, the authority, or the right to tell me and you that we can't give our children a better education. So just know that. And i like to give a special message to the believers because I am a believer. The North Philly Peace Park was created from faith. It was created from the belief in something higher, something better. But that thing that was higher and better wasn't necessarily seen. It was a vision. It was a promise. We went for that promise and we damn sure got it. So have faith, keep your faith. Believers, come up out of the churches, come up out of the synagogues, come up out of the messages, get up off your knees and get up and go get what God promised for you. Peace. Like, oh, they, they, they got the schools. No, we're going to build our own schools. We're going to build our own schools. We're going to liberate our own hoods. We're going to stop all this pie in the sky, begging white man stuff. And we're going to simply start organizing our local communities. It's simple as that. Black people got their head up in the damn clouds while the white man got their ass in their hand. We always trying to do things that's not concrete. Organize your block. Do something for your neighborhood. So this school right here is not necessarily, we can't put a bunch of people in here, but this is for our hood. But imagine if this was in every neighborhood, though. It's about neighborhood scale development. It's about each neighborhood having a local democracy of self-determination. Like, you know, now, the Salah Nkrumah Learning Center. Salah Nkrumah, God bless the dead. This was a young brother who was a beautiful young man. He passed some years ago for multiple sclerosis, but he was a North Philly organizer. He was a revolutionary journalist. He was a graduate of Franklin Learning Center. He was my brother, and he loved his people. We built a school in his honor. This school building right here is an ecological design. You notice there's food growing out of the damn building. That's how we thinking, because that's what's coming for our people. We done with the starving thing. 
We done with the poppy store thing. We done with the diabetes, cancer, heart attack, hypertension thing. We off that. Let somebody else have that. What we want now is healthy food. What we want is safe environments for our children to be able to learn so that they can understand that there's more to this world than what is given to them. And this schoolhouse right here can hold probably about 30 to 50 young people. Well, who going to teach them? Well, we going to go get the teachers. We going to teach them. We going to teach them. We'll pull our money together. We'll hire our own teachers. We'll volunteer and teach our kids. We'll go out and get the, the college students off the college campus, bring them back to the hood, sit them down, sit our children down. We would do that. It's worth it. So that's our school right there. And this school was designed by black architects. Because one thing that we knew, uh, one thing in order for us to, to progress is we need unity. We need coalitions. We need alliances. And I mentioned in the beginning of this interview, sister, that nobody going to help us but us. Nobody going to help us but us. Nobody. Nobody cares for us. And anything that somebody say they're going to do for us, it ain't going to benefit us. They can open up a thousand schools around here. Black children still going to be not educated. They can open up a thousand supermarkets around here. Black people still ain't going to have no access to no healthy food. Only if we do it ourselves can it actually reach the people. So we went, and this was like after they fought us for the land around the corner. And we went out and we found black architectural students. We approached them. We said, look, man, this is what's going on with your people. This is what happened with your people down in North Philly. They ravishing your people's community. They taking away your people's future. In this neighborhood, both of the schools got closed down. Reynolds, the middle school got closed down, and Vox, where I went, got closed down. So what you going to do? What are we going to do, black people? What, send them to another messed up school that's about to be closed down? What, let them run the streets and get pulled into crime? Pulled into sex, pulled into drugs? What you going to do, black people sitting around complain? No, we're going to build a school. Well, damn, how you going to build a school? We're going to get the architects then to design the school. Who going to build it? We're going to get the construction workers. Anything we need to do for our people right now, we can do it if we got enough guts to get up and pursue it. So black architects from the University of Pennsylvania, we approached them. We asked them, can they help us? They work with us. They came down here. We went up there. They talked to the kids. They talked to the adults. And we arrived at this design. And this is going to be the schoolhouse that's going to be here at the North Philly Peace Park. We're going to give our children what's called a STEM-based education. But we, we call it STEM. We say STEM deck. So you got science, technology, engineering, mathematics, but you also got D. E-K, which stands for design, because you need that too. Design is architecture. Also, ecology. You need that too. And also, the K, knowledge itself. So we're talking about a STEM deck-based education for our babies, and we're going to be focusing on K-5 to age, with a particular focus on fourth and fifth graders. Mm -hmm. um, have y'all started like, raising money for that? Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Um, up until this time right now, we have been able to raise almost $10,000 towards this project. Everything you see out here, most of it has been like volunteer and donations. Just this morning, man, you see me, I got my suit jacket on. I'm hot. Out here for my people under the sun. For my people because I just came for meetings for us. I'm at the table for us because this is the point that black people got to understand. Your enemy is 10%. The 10% is your enemy. The 10% blood suckers of the poor. That's one in the zero. That's 10%. Don't fuck with the 10%. That's your enemy, the 10%. But what that leave? That leave 90. That leaves 90. You got to find a way, black man, black woman, to develop what you need from that 90 to isolate that 10. First and foremost, understand what you're dealing with. The world is yours. Any money that's out there, that's your money. I don't look at money that's out there as not our money. I understand how it works. We produce the wealth that's present. So when you go ahead and you go and get that money, you just unfreezing assets. That's what you're doing. You're unfreezing the assets. 
So what I'm working to do is to unfreeze the assets to bring resources to my community. But I ain't dealing with the 10%. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at raising nickel and dimes. I'm going to look at fundraisers. I'm going to look at even look at grants to see if we can
exploring different issues that concern us. I'm finding so many, so many different mentalities mentality today. It seems hard. hard. It seems challenging. It's challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um, so, 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 I'm ready for I'm this ready challenge. For this challenge. And I was built.